The left anterior fascicular block, also known as the left anterior hemiblock, is caused by the abnormal electrical conduction of the left side of the heart, specifically down the anterior fascicle of the left ventricular conduction system. Normally, electrical impulses travel from the AV node down the bundle of His and down to the left ventricle by way of the left bundle branch. Simply speaking, the left bundle branch divides into the left anterior fascicle and the left posterior fascicle. In a left anterior fascicular block, electrical conduction is no longer able to be conducted down the left anterior fascicle portion of the left bundle branch, and so action potentials are only conducted by the left posterior fascicle. Because of this lack of depolarization in the left anterior fascicle, the major vector of depolarization is upwards and leftwards, which produces the large positive voltages in the left-sided leads, seen as tall R waves laterally. Because of this, you will also see large negative voltages inferiorly, depicted as deep S waves in your inferior leads on the EKG. Additionally, this electrical conduction takes slightly longer than it does with conduction through both the left anterior and posterior fascicles, which is reflected on the EKG as a slightly widened QRS complex. There are other nuisances on the EKG to take note of when looking for a left anterior fascicular block, such as a left axis deviation, usually cited to be between negative 45 to negative 90 degrees. The other finding on EKG is the presence of a QR complex in leads 1 and AVL. This is specifically a small Q wave with a tall R wave in these respective leads. In the inferior leads, you will find RS complexes. This is reflected on the EKG as small R waves and deep S waves in leads 2, 3, and AVF. Next, you could see a prolonged R peak time. What this means is that you are looking for the time from the beginning of the QRS complex to the peak for the R wave. What you will find is that this time will be greater than or equal to 45 milliseconds. And even though the R peak time is prolonged, the QRS complexes are typically less than 120 milliseconds. Now that you know how to identify a left anterior fascicular block on an EKG, what does it all mean? Even though it's not a normal finding on an EKG, the presence of a left anterior fascicular block is usually benign. Especially in the absence of other organic heart diseases, it's probably something that you or your patient shouldn't be too worried about. However, there is a small subset of patients with this finding on their EKG, which is associated with coronary artery disease, secondary to the involvement of the left anterior descending artery. This is because the left anterior fascicle can be supplied blood from either the septal branches of the left anterior descending artery or by way of the AV nodal artery, 